Now, if you think about it, sex in itself is really weird. If aliens traveled across the galaxy to finally study humans to see what we do, they'd probably be really impressed by us, by our intelligence, by our cell phones. But then if they witnessed how we had sex, they'd be like, what the is this? And that would just be for regular sex. And then there's a whole small majority of us who are into some really super duper freaky weird shit. For example, some men are actually somehow turned on by feet. Yes, the things that you walk on every single day, they want you to put your feet down there. Blech. So just to be clear, this video is not about fetishes or weird like that. This is actually seven things that most of you women will probably find a little bit weird, but most guys, at least the majority of us, are actually into this. Women of all shapes and sizes. Now society tries to tell us that men are only into very skinny, petite women, and those are the types of women who are in the cover of Cosmo or any type of magazines that you might be reading. But for you more voluptuous women out there, I need you to know this. I need to tell you this right now. That is not all only what men are into. They are women into women of all shapes and sizes, and Google tells us this. In fact, for every skinny Google search, there are actually an equal amount of fat searches and what are called BBW sites, which is the BBW standing for big, beautiful women. Believe it or not, those are actually incredibly popular, and a lot of men are actually very attracted to more voluptuous women. So for you larger women out there, definitely rest assured, there are definitely guys out there who want to be with you and your incredibly beautiful body. Number two, music. Responding on a recent survey that I found said that basically music being played in the background is 14% more likely to turn them on than the, even the touch or the feel of their partner. Oh why hey there. Ugh. Oh hey there. Number three, when you look like him. Now, according to a study led by the University of Montpellier, it appears that we are actually attracted to people that look like us. Now, I know a ton of people who look just like their partner and it is freaky as shit. And you probably have some people in your life who you can think of who is definitely dating someone who's like their brother. They look or their sister they look like and it's friggin' weird. So I want to hear from you in the comments. Co leave a comment right there below if you know someone who's dating someone who kind of looks like them. Number four, your sexy sexy voice while you're menstruating. A study in Psychology Behavior magazine actually showed that when a woman is menstruating and they played those voices in men's ears, it literally sent tingles up a man's spine. Like they can tell, we can tell a difference apparently, either consciously or subconsciously, when a woman is menstruating and that completely turns us on. So for you ladies who are going out a night out in the town and it could be that time of the month where you might be menstruating, make sure you remember to take the pill. Men are gonna be all over you, apparently. Number five. Altruism. Altruism is basically the selfless concern for basically the well-being of others. And a study by the British Journal of Psychology actually showed that the more altruistic you are, the more likely you are to have a ton of sex. So be a good person. Not only are you gonna help others, you're gonna have an awesome life with lots of sex. And the reason why this is the case, if you think about it, it really makes sense. If you go back to when we lived back in tribes, right? And a man goes out, he goes hunting, and he kills a boar. And he brings this wild boar home, and he's like super excited that he has this amazing animal. If he just took that animal in the corner and made it over the campfire and ate it all himself, everyone would be like, dude, are you, are you serious? You're not gonna share it with the rest of us? You ladies wouldn't be interested in that dude. However, if he came back, he brought back this wild boar and he shared it with the entire tribe and he was the type of person who wanted to go hunting and provide for everyone, not because he's a selfish person, but because he wants to give back, you would be so excited. Damn, I want that guy right after I go eat some boar. And apparently the same concept is the same for men. And I can certainly speak for myself on this one. I find it incredibly attractive when a woman kind of steps outside of herself and does something for other people or even does something for me when she's not necessarily concerned about herself. The type of person who gives back without uh, expecting something in return. Altruism is an incredibly sexy quality in a person. And quite frankly, it's just a good way to live your life. Number six is fear. Believe it or not, there was a study where they took two groups of men, split them in half. They took one group of guys and put them on top of a bridge in like a really scary place, like super high so they are freaked the f 
out. And what they did is they took these two different groups and they took an attractive female to interview these men. And what they found somehow by doing this questionnaire, they found that the men who were absolutely terrified at the top of this bridge were way more aroused by that woman than the guys who were just sitting comfortably in a chair. I have no idea what part that plays in evolutionary psychology, why we are that way, but it makes sense. Who hasn't watched a scary movie and just wanted to get completely freaky at the end of the movie? And finally, number seven, chocolate covered strawberries. Recently, the online dating site Zeus came out with this survey and basically they asked their users what type of food they found to be the sexiest. And the number one that came back for both men and women was chocolate covered strawberries. So I wanna hear from you ladies. What of these seven are the absolute biggest turn-ons from you? Write that in the comment right there below. And also, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like on YouTube and also don't forget to subscribe on YouTube for more videos just like this every single Thursday. And finally, if you haven't been over to sexyconfidence.com, then make sure you click that link right there. It's going to take you to a free training where you can learn exactly how it is that you can get back out there and attract the man in the relationship you've always wanted. Go ahead and click that link or head on over to sexyconfidence.com and I will speak to you, you sexy single lady, next week. Bye-bye.